Hi YouTubers. Just a little vlog. I'm gonna try my hand at this other than the few I've done. It's uh in response to Twish 1999's video on the good old days. I've got a few little things I'd like to relate that there. As most of you probably know who have watched me, I'm an ex-computer network engineer and worked in the field for quite a number of years. And uh, I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of changes in the field. Very many changes. The computers we have today would be dreams. Weren't even dreams then when I first started. I first got involved and interested in computers back in the late 60s. Oh, Lord. That was when uh, most computers were tubes. Mm -hmm. Computers took up rooms back then sometimes. If you're lucky, you had a mini that sat in two or three racks along the wall. And uh, very few integrated circuits. The uh, transistor was very new, AT&T and Bell Labs had just uh, really produced the, the first transistors back at that time. And uh, solid state I should say, the, the little chips. And it was a very, very good sized little chip for one transistor. Uh, not like today. <sighs> Let me relate a few little items. When I first started in the computer industry, we would load computers by either paper tape, punch card, or if you were real lucky and got a real up-to-date system back in the 70s, you might have a magnetic tape to load from. Hard drives, floppy drives, CDs, nah, weren't even thought of. They didn't start making really viable production-grade hard drives until the real late 70s. And then, 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 those things were so huge, it wasn't funny. I mean, <laughs> they were talking about discs that were almost a foot and a half, two feet across. Nine or ten in a platter, just to get maybe, maybe, a hundred megabytes of, of storage. We had floppy disks, yeah, five and a quarter didn't come out until the late 70s but uh, when they first came out they were single sided 160k and uh, you'd be lucky to get a decent sized program on one yes and before that we had the 8 inch floppy disks hmm now those were the things were interesting 8 inches across yeah they only stored about 320k of data. <laughs> Not very big by today's standards. We had uh, paper tape, punch, front panel punch uh, button loading of computers, what we call binary coded decimal. A row of buttons that you had to push individual buttons to start the computer running its tasks. Uh, then you could load a uh, tape or a punch card or a magnetic tape to start it, the program running. Most programs back then, 416K at the most, uh, when you're working with uh, computers, that you might have 4, 8, maybe 16K of online core memory core memory was this little magnetic ring wrapped with wires in different directions that you would pass current through to hold data bits <sighs> took a lot of those little things to uh, hold a lot of data and you had boards oh take your monitor if you're on a laptop take your whole laptop the boards were that big just to hold maybe 4k of memory 4 kilobyte bits of memory we had to address that memory by hand with little wires we had to push down into the boards to get the right addressing and 
punch that in. Oh, some of the computers I worked on back then still had tubes in them. Let me tell you, finding the burnt out tubes, uh, <laughs> that could be fun. Because uh, not all of them had little lights that you could see were lit up. We had uh, a lot of different things. There was no video processing like we have it today. Uh, it's a green screen sometimes. Sometimes you just got your print, your what you were working with, printed out on a teletype type printer, which was a hammer printer that punched in the data, the letters and words out on a sheet of paper. Uh, if we were lucky enough to have a green screen monitor to display the data back to us, it was real crude, real hard to read sometimes. And, again, it was real slow. You'd watch each character printing out across that screen as it printed things out. When I first started working on hard drives, I was amazed at the amount of data these things could hold. Oh, yeah. I, my first real hard drive, a 10 megabyte, 5 and a quarter inch hard drive. The ones they started out putting in the original PCs back then, after, they call it PC2. Uh, it was the, uh, it held 10 megabits of data, and it was huge. Nobody would ever fill one of those up. Now, <laughs> 10 megabits of data, huh? You can't even get, you get more than that on a CD nowadays. And, uh, that's just a few of the things that, uh, I worked with back then. Computers have come a long way. We're talking terabyte storage media on hard drives in laptops and desktop computers. We're talking gigabytes of online memory in solid-state chips. We're talking high-speed internet. Oh, man, when I first started working with what they call the internet back then, it was called the ARCnet, and it was primarily used in scientific and military and governmental research projects. We didn't have a lot of users on it. Uh, and it was slow. 300 baud, or bits a second, was, was a pretty good size speed. Some of it was at 110 bits a second. Not anything you'd uh, be passing video across, let me tell you. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd share some of my old computer experience and show you that uh, we have come a long way. Y'all take care now. Bye.